Okay, uh, yes, this is my first time uh, at the ANU. Uh, I, in fact, any university. Um, for me, I've uh, worked and lived in sort of pretty much in a, in, in a worldwide environment. Um, also, I worked a lot and, and lived a lot in Australia, but I've, I've traveled a lot overseas to take my work over there. And I've been fortunate enough to have had um, my, my songwriting and uh, performance career also you know on the radio taken overseas to, to other people and shared those dreams I, I, I feel very fortunate in that way but to get back to the question this is my first time here and I'm sort of uh, I feel really you know um, fortunate to be here actually I think how my skills sort of can assist others in, in, in how I can help them is I'm learning as much sometimes as I feel like I'm teaching at the moment I'm, I'm learning a bit about myself as I'm sharing experiences with others because I have to um, if you like uh, conceptualize or, or be you know simple explanations of often quite complex questions you know how do you write a song how do you how do you um, one of the one of the main questions that a lot of the students have been asking me is how do I how do I collectively focus my my work? How can I because I feel a bit scattered. I feel like you know there's fragments here. There's you know I can't you know and that sometimes you know for people creatively will come really easily to to people and sometimes it's something you really have to work at for a long time. You know so I feel they're the sort of um, you know uh, communication uh, skills that I that I'm helping others or trying to help others with and at the same time it helps me as well. If I had to say three, uh, I'd say probably the most important three uh, is to, to know what your objective is. Okay, if, you, if you're trying to be creative then try to define in your own mind where you'd like to end up um, because once you know where you want to end up and what you're trying to create, beginning it is not so hard. You know, because other, if you're at the beginning of something and you don't know where you're going, it can go anywhere. So you t t to see a, an end result or imagine something in your mind helps. It may not necessarily be where you end up, but at least it gives you a roadmap to know how to get from A to B and how to start, how to get halfway there. And at the end of it, at least your, your journey is if you got a little off track, well, that's okay, but at least you, you know where you're going. I think the second... Uh, part of those three would be to be original, is to be yourself. Don't try to be somebody you're not, um, because someone will see that, you know. And as much as you think, oh gosh, no one's going to really want to see the real me. You got to be kidding, you know. That real me's, you know, is is flawed. I, I'm, I've got issues, problems. I'm not perfect, you know. Well, so what? Who is, you know? So if you're going to go do that, then be yourself and be strong about it and be be confident. And it's easy for me to say that. I mean, I've done my own time at being, you know, um, insecure and unsure, and that's normal too. So I think the third one as well is um, it's probably to to be uh, to be conscious that it's okay to make a mistake. You know, like you, you don't learn anything unless you, you try. You know, and you know, you know, and, and in trying is everything. You know, you know everything you're doing. When you're trying at something and you're being yourself and you have an objective, then it's your efforts really that are teaching you as much as anyone else can about, you know, you learn a lot as you're going because you're making mistakes, you know. Well, first of all, I feel very honoured to be a Coombs Fellow in 2015, even more so being the 50th year of the you know, celebrations of the School of Music. Uh, I, I was um, really surprised uh, midway through last year when I, I was invited to participate and at first I thought this must be for somebody else, it couldn't be for me, you know, um, because I, I thought what's that got to do with me and then I realised and I came here and I met um, Professor Peter Tregear and Dr Sam Bennett and we talked for a little while and at first it took a little while and then I thought, I know, they want me to help in some capacity, you know, to share some something 
with somebody about you know maybe my own experiences or you know at the coal face or you know, whatever I've done in my life and maybe help somebody and at that point is when I went yes okay you know I see the purpose of this now and I see the value in it in the future not just me sitting here today talking to you but I can I can see the past as understanding why that was important and I would imagine the future is a very very important too you know